Since Morning Joe visited Utica in upstate New York a few months ago, the number of Ukrainian refugees settled in the city has tripled, taking in close to 400 women and children, with more coming every week. And while they have a strong support system from the community, the displaced Ukrainians remain in legal limbo, unable to secure jobs without American work visas, and fearful of returning to their homes to war-torn Ukraine. We heard a lot of explosions and shooting. There was no future there. In our home, we heard a lot of explosions, and we decided to come to the United States. According to Utica, New York Mayor Robert Palmieri, the Utica community, which is now taking in displaced Ukrainian families, has been welcoming refugees from around the world for over a hundred years. We all know what's going on, how devastating it is in Ukraine. And uh, as we have been very warm and opening to bringing refugees in here and whatever we can do to make sure that they feel comfortable, safe, and this becomes their second home. Leading the Compassion Coalition is Pastor Mike Cervello, who has been providing aid to the community for over two decades. When the Ukrainian refugees began to come to town, they're being taken in by families and by churches. And so the need arises. Families are trying to stretch their own food dollars to feed them. And we said, we will give every Ukrainian family a gift card from our store for as long as they need it until they're able to go find employment. The center, a government-funded community center in Utica, offers crucial assistance to the arriving refugees who must navigate numerous clerical, cultural, and language hurdles upon their arrival to the U.S. When Ukrainians come here, they either uh, are coming with humanitarian parolee status or temporary protected status, and neither one of those comes with uh, employment authorization. It is a real barrier, especially in a town like Utica and actually upstate New York, which has a real workforce crisis in terms of we need workforce. The worst part is that we would love to work, but unfortunately we don't have permission in the United States. We wish we had clarity with paperwork. We live with worry because they gave us permission to stay here for one year, and we don't know what's going to happen after that. We have no place to go from here. The dependency question is not, it's, it's not a burden. These are people that, you know, if they're on public assistance, it's for a very short period of time because their goal is to get on their feet and not be dependent on the government and on the community that's accepted them. In fact, it's entirely the opposite. They want to contribute to that community. The Compassion Coalition and Refugee Center continue to work to deliver paperwork to state government offices as Utica hopes to set a precedent for other cities and states by finally giving the displaced Ukrainians a sense of stability.